done asking men if they have feelings for me. From now on, I'm just gonna say random facts about myself and put them into a cahoot. And then after a few weeks of us talking, I'm gonna make them take the cahoot. And if they fail it, bye bye. You don't know my dog's name, bye. Oh, you don't know my favorite food, bye. You don't know that I was scared of the Teletubbies vacuum when I was a kid. You don't know me at all. We do not care. I said it once and I'll say it again. A rich boyfriend that's cheap is the same thing as having a broke boyfriend. That's why I tell you guys to not focus on how much money the guy has or how much he shows off or what car he drives. It's about how much he likes you and how much he's willing to invest in you. There are lots of girls that are dating men that are making half a million dollars a year, yet the girls are struggling financially. But then there are also girls that are dating guys that make $100,000 a year and they have no financial problems. When I was single, it was so cringe to me when guys tried to pursue me with how much money they had. Like, oh yeah, look at my car. Oh yeah, look at my house. I don't care about how much money you have. I care about how much money you're willing to give me. So stop falling for all of these designer wearing bums. Because that is literally what they are. You're good. You're fucking poor. The biggest thing I see that a lot of girls do, and I'm not blaming them, I used to be this way, is like when you're dating someone, people tend to want to like rush or do what the guy wants just because they're like really excited about the relationship and they want it to go well and the one thing that i really always do when i stand by is i take a guy off a pedestal i don't care if i'm obsessed with you i don't care if i like you so much i am not placing you on a pedestal higher than myself i put myself on the pedestal this might sound conceited but there's truly no guy that is better than myself and you need to prove to me why you deserve to be in my life don't forget to subscribe so if your ex felt like you were toxic in the relationship, can no contact make an ex still miss you or will an ex just be happier being without you? I'm Coach Pearl, relationship coach. Let's get into it. So going into no contact with an ex is the only way that you can get back together with them if an ex felt like you were toxic in your relationship. So of course that if an ex leaves you because of mistakes that you did or the things that you did to your ex or ways that you treated them, then when you go into no contact, at first an ex is going to feel extra relieved even more than the average one because they're finally single they don't have to deal with the toxicity with the fights or jealousy or insecurity whatever is the issues were in the relationship but as long as you keep going into no contact and you actually work on changing any of the toxic traits that you might have displayed in the relationship then as time goes on and x is able to start missing you and to start thinking about all the positive times that you two shared and all of the positive memories that you two had together why the fuck you lying why you always lying see how i sit there Por tu sonrisa y tus ojitos lo tolero